a couple of people have uh, asked me for some clarification on the uh, Arduino uh, speedometer, odometer, whatever we call it. Um, haven't quite got to the GPS point yet. Working on a little bit of that. The battery down on my GPS module, but essentially you have a uh, X27 stepper motor out of a GM uh, instrument cluster, and how it works is basically I've got a piece of painter's tape on there, so you can see that the needle, uh, and it goes basically from zero, goes up and around, it goes over to full scale. And full scale on an Arduino essentially is 5 volts, or the analog to digital converter has 1,023 counts or steps. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and restart the Arduino, reset it, and what it's going to do is it's going to go down to zero, and it'll go to full scale, and then it'll start floating around. You can see it moving there a little bit. Um, and it will, uh, based on when I, when I touch the analog zero input on it, it will go up and down. So let me re restart it. It'll take a second to reboot. There it goes up, and it goes back. And so what's happening is the voltage at the analog zero input, A0 on here, is basically floating. So we're somewhere around third scale. So third scale is about 300 counts. We'll just say it, instead of 1023, we'll say about 1,000 counts. So up here on the uh, Arduino sketch, uh, essentially you have to include a stepper, uh, hex file. There, on this GM stepper, there's 600 steps. The coils are connected to, to digital pin 8, 9, 10, and 11. Um, we're going to define the pot input, which is A0. It's going to be 0. And then uh, we're going to have to tell the, the, uh, that the stepper is uh, steps on the coils 1, 2, 3, and 4. And on their void setup, we have the stepper speed at 60. I found out to work about the best. And then you have to include the stepper speed of, or, sorry, the, the stepper number of steps, which is 600. And I've included the, the serial command in there so we can actually see it and you'll be able to see it a little bit. So the first off, basically when it starts, it goes to position zero. And then under the void loop, which is something that runs continuously around, uh, we're gonna look at the analog uh, read the input on pot input, which was zero up here. And we're going to take and make, we're gonna map out that value from 0 to 1023, and which equates to 0 to 600 uh, steps. So, so if the absolute value minus the, the position is less than 2, uh, and if the value, da, 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 anyways, basically, if it's, if it's greater, if the position is greater or less than what the analog input is, it goes ahead and moves the needle. And then down at the bottom, I told it to, under the serial monitor to plot the actual position. So up here, what you would do is you go to, um, let me save that real quick. We're going to tools. We're going to do the serial plotter, which is basically a strip chart recorder. So what happens is it starts out at zero, and then it goes up, and it went up to 310, and this thing samples. I don't have any delay in there, so it goes relatively fast. So these numbers are going up and down, and it should stabilize right around 250, somewhere in that direction. So. This is a mountain in the garage, and it's relatively dry, so this Arduino input is relatively sensitive. So, But this is only jumping up down maybe two or three counts on the analog to digital converter. And so that count of 250 is approximately one-third scale, because zero is over here and up and around, and then that's full scale. So zero to 600, 300 to be in the middle, so we're about 250. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my finger near... The A0 input and show you how sensitive this is. You can see I'm not even touching it and it is still and then it'll basically float up and then it floats up and then it's going to go back down to about 250 counts and you'll see it's dropping back down there again. So again I touch the analog zero input and it steps it up and if your input is not floating around this is just kind of like almost almost like a static charge is picking up off of me so now we're up to about three quarters scale. And so there you can see that. And then it drops back down to zero. And now it's floating back up to 250. This is a little bit deceptive because this is auto scaling from zero to 600. Now we're down at 250. So what I'll do is I'll show you again where I put my finger next to it and you'll see it climb up very rapidly. So now we're back up to about 360, 330 counts and it's holding it right up there. That's a lot, of, that's very, very quick sampling. So, uh, you can see there it goes up or back under 250, 270, 280 counts. And then I will let it go, and it will continue up to about 560. And then it just, basically the analog zero input just discharges. It's dropping down to 360, 340, 320, and going back down. So for this, if you want to build a gauge for oil pressure 
all you'd have to do is just calculate and put a like a, a resistor in series with the oil pressure sensor going up to 5 volts and when the voltage changes on the pressure transducer or you could use a factory GM transducer off like an LS motor which has 12 volts or yeah 12 volts in ground and then 0 to 5 volts coming out so you could directly read oil pressure and then what you would do is you would scale those numbers that I had up in here for um, here we would scale it and we could draw an actual adjust it those numbers so that when you put the stepper motor behind your factory oil pressure gauge it would read correctly so it would go up and down based on the voltage or based on the oil pressure and you can see how quickly that does move and it does it kind of floats back around it will float back up I'll put it a little more on there um, I think if I, if I touch it long enough it'll go up quite a bit just the same as you can see it going up there you can see it continually going up there and it'll come down and it'll float somewhere around 250, 300. Now we're down about 270, so it'll drop. It just drops back down. That's where the voltage, when you have an open circuit on an Arduino, that's where it goes. So just thought a little bit better explanation of how it all works.